This is a quick guide for setting up an Airport Express base station for use on a hotspot network. So the biggest problem you normally have with these devices is that when you configure them, they put themselves into bridge mode, which doesn't allow you to have multiple devices connected behind. So we've got a newly reset Airport Express device. And you'll see here, you can see Airport Express we connect to that, the airport utility, which I have open, will automatically pick up information about this device. Okay. I'm just setting the password as test1234, test1234. Now for the first computer, the OSX operating system will automatically remember that and it will connect me up to the network later. I already have the WAN connection on the device plugged in. That's the one with the icon that's a, a circle with little dots around it, whereas the one with the arrows going in opposite directions is to go into a computer or an Xbox or PlayStation, anything that needs a cable connection. So once this is finished, what we want to do is actually go in and make additional changes to the Airport Express. You can just see here, we're actually waiting for the Airport Express to reboot at the moment because it wasn't showing up on the local network. If we check again, be back now and we should be able to connect to that. Taking a little while to get connected. So we're online now. So in a moment we should see the device appear as well. However, we can check. Ah, there we go. You might want to scan for it on the wireless network. So we click edit here, you want to go to the internet setup here, connect using DHCP, so that is correct, but the network you can see is actually in bridge mode at the moment, whereas it should be in this DHCP and NAT, which is commonly known as, or for other devices, called router mode. So we can leave all of those settings wireless network is fine as is and we'll just hit update here um, we will change this because we don't want to allow other people to set it up over the WAN connection that would potentially mean anyone else on the local network would be able to see it so we'll turn that off and once again it's going to tell us it's going to reboot and become unavailable So as soon as this comes back, 
we should be able to see that it will pick up an address from the upstream network via DHCP and it should hand out addresses to any clients that connect to it on the downstream either the wireless network or via the local Ethernet port. And it's just trying to reconnect now. And we're connected again. And you can see it is detecting that there is a double NAT um, error because we're actually behind a hotspot. And that's fine, we can click ignore on that. This should now show green, so it's showing us that it's connected. And just to confirm, let's just do a quick Google search for our favorite hotspot network provider. There we are, and we're online.